Hi, Joe here. I'm SEO manager at Kuzai. And today we are going to look at how to view uh, historic search results pages in SEM Rush and also how to view search results pages for different countries. So first of all, if we navigate to the keyword overview tab in SEM Rush, which is highlighted in orange here, then we can type in our keyword into this uh, box up here and click search. Um, and then SEM Rush will return all sorts of data about that keyword, um, including where it's most popular in the world, um, the search volume, the keyword difficulty and the CPC, and lots of other data points about that particular keyword. But what we can also do in SEM Rush is look at how the search results were ordered at uh, the particular point in time. Now, by default, uh, this will take um, SEM Rush's most recent um, screenshot of the search results. Um, so we can see that this is the order of the top 10 and we can change this uh, up here. Um, we can look at uh, each group of positions in groups of 10 all the way up to position 100. Um, so if we want to look at 11 to 20, 21 to 30, we can do that here. Uh, we can also look at the, uh, a screenshot of the search results page itself in Google. Um, and this might be useful uh, to quickly identify any kind of search features um, that were uh, present at the time. So uh, by looking at this, um, this particular uh, snapshot of the search results, <clears throat> we can see that uh, there are ads here, uh, four, four ads at the top. Uh, we can see the um, news stories here as well uh, in a carousel um, and the people also ask box and also some videos. So um, looking at the screenshot of the search results gives us a, a better idea of how it uh, visually looks and all the other elements um, that might affect click-through rate. Um, this is this is very uh, uh, useful to do, um, but the the most useful part of this tool is probably the fact that you can go back in uh, time. So if we click here, um, we can look at the historical data all the way back to January 2012. So let's say we wanted to view uh, March 2020. Uh, we can just click click this here. And we can look at the search results for March 2020. Um, now, when we looked at the search results for this term previously, uh, the term we're looking at here is iPhone 12. Um, Apple were obviously number one, um, which isn't too surprising. Um, and then we had um, network, UK networks like Vodafone and 3 also uh, ranking very well for this term. But if we go back to March, um, which was before this, this product, the iPhone 12 was available, um, or even before it was kind of officially confirmed, I think, um, the search results look very different. Um, so we can see it's mostly uh, kind of tech uh, publications that are doing well for this term. We've got the Express here as well, which is more of a, a general kind of uh, mass media publication. But we can see this is dominated by uh, Tom'sGuide.com, Mac Rumors, um, Tech Radar, Mac World, uh, stuff, um, lots of tech-specific uh, publishers. So that's that's one example of how um, search results can uh, vary wildly um, across two points in time. We can also see that the search volume was a lot a lot less as well back in March. So that's how we can check uh, historic search results. Of course, if we want to, um, uh, we don't have the uh, option here to, to actually view uh, the screenshot of the search results, but um, looking at the, uh, the order here will, will give us a good idea of, of what's going on. Um, if we want to look at the, the same keyword um, at the same time period, but for a different country, we can just click this drop down here at the moment we're in the UK, so we want to see the google.co.uk results. If we want to see the US, uh, google.com results, we can just click on this and you'll see that all of this data changes. So 
search volume is much um, uh, greater, unsurprisingly. Um, and then we can see here the, the US results. Um, so fa fairly similar in terms of the theme. So there's lots of um, lots of uh, tech publishers uh, ranking for this term, um, but slightly uh, different to the UK. So we've got nine to five Mac in there. We've got CNET, which are uh, kind of US specific publishers. That's an example of how you can use SEM Rush to look at historic search results and also search results from another country. Two very useful features. 